from Bahrain, the Khalifa Sports City. Welcome to Brave Combat Federation number nine, the Kingdom of Champions. Welterweight division, one of the most heated rivalries ever in Brave Combat Federation. Tahar Hadbi from France and Algeria takes on Lebanon's Mohammed, the latest Fakhrini. Ladies and gentlemen, on the next round, it's three five minute rounds in the Welterweight division. Introducing our first warrior, Pai, out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 10 wins and one loss. He stands 179 centimeters tall and weighs 177.3 kilograms. Pai, out of Beirut, Lebanon, and representing Shogun Team and Tiger Muay Thai, please welcome Bahamut, the latest Bahamut. And his opponent, Pai, out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 13 wins and 6 losses. He stands 183 centimeters tall and weighs a rate 77 kilograms. Fighting out of Algeria by the way of Paris, France and representing OB Fight Team. Give it up for Tahar Fast Hands Hudby! Your referee is Mark Goddard. Well, as I say every event that I work, the time for talk is over. It's time to knuckle up and throw down, guys. That's, that's the time right here. And Mohammed Fakhrid has got that crazy look in his eyes. Oh, man, he has not let his eyes off of Tahar Hadbi. The feeling is mutual, and the all-black is Hadbi. In the black, the white, and the red. That is Mohamed Fakhrudin. It's two big kicks and a big miss. Both of the fighters are just kind of feeling each other out. And of course, you know, we, we talk about... There you go, now I landed that kick. Tahar Hadbi with that matchup with Carl Booth. It was actually supposed to be a five-round matchup. It was three rounds. They kind of had a mix-up, so it went to a no contest. That's right. But they were both kind of leaving it all inside the cage in that fight. Oh, there he goes back to that leg. It was a really good fight. If that one became kind of a more of a boxing match. Exactly. Fakhrudin here is, you know, throwing some kicks, and that was a good check there. Yeah, Fakhrudin definitely has a whole other element to his game. Some looping punch from Fakhrudin. Yeah, Fakhrudin is just one of those special athletes, guys. I mean, he just seems to have all the tools and a lot of tenaciousness. Ooh, he checked that kick with his knee. That was a chopping one. Now, one of the things you have, uh, of uh, Mohamed Fakhrudin has been training and um, and what was he? Was he uh, Tiger Muay Thai? And Tiger Muay Thai. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. That slipped me. And uh, so he's been doing a lot of Muay Thai, you know, experience out there with a lot of those great coaches. Already had a nice, accurate, powerful striking game as well. So he's just getting better. Ooh, nice Sharpening overhand. the steel. He just ate that hard. Love the combination from Bakardin. Really going after it. But Hadby's a great counter puncher and oh, extremely accurate. In. It took like oh, a little bit of a low man. blow. Hey, listen, no. Shit. I gotta say this much. Fakhrudin, this guy is like a magnet for low blows yeah. sometimes, man. We remember That's it. That's gotta Brave be Four. like six in the toilet for his entire career with Brave. Oh, At least. Poor guy. I don't know if he would have signed the contract <laughs> if he knew that six were coming. Well, if we wanna keep producing little Fakhrudin's, we gotta slow down on these low blows. <laughs> well, the good thing is we got his little brother, Hassan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Fakhrudin trying to shake it off, taking his time. Same time, you don't wanna kill your momentum, you wanna continue to battle. That's what we're gonna do. They're gonna oh, show right. respect, how about oh, that? Oh, man. Did see that kinda, one coming. It kinda hurt Fakhrudin to shake his hand, I think. <laughs> yeah. Good jab. That's two really good stiff jabs that one He's catching needs. with that overhand. Hadby with the foot movement. He's a little shucking and jiving here. 
Got that shuffle going on. Seeing some redness on uh, on Mahabi's legs a little bit from those leg kicks that uh, Fakhrudin's playing. Uh, and that'll kill a lot of that movement and those angles if he can slow him down and take those legs out from underneath him. Yeah. That's going to be very important if he can slow him down. That's really good movement. Great right experience. Hand, he's, throwing, he's throwing heavy hit right hands. Yeah, but he's missing a lot. But you, but you gotta like the angle from Hodby, the way he's using. He's just those small great little movements, work. great feints. Well, look at his leg, his leg's getting red right now. Ooh, nice inside three, inside hook. Oh. Yeah, Fakhrdin, yeah, great power, but more of a brawling style of a puncher. Oh yeah. Those have bad intentions, every single one of those. There's another right hand. Of course, Mohamed Fakhrdin. Spent some time as well in the United States. Oh, Fox Talk got a nice uh, mouse under his eye, right? Yeah, you see that? A little bit of a cut, a little mouse under the Ooh. eye, the left eye of Mohamed Fakhrdin, and you better believe that's going to be a big red target for Tahar Hadi. Yeah, nice body shot, Fakhrdin. Must be from one of Hadi's uh, uh, jabs, I'm, I'm assuming. You know. Fakhrdin so disappointed, you know, he was nice. down One, in Brazil and, and his body legitimately just shut down. He couldn't cut anymore. Uh, and he was very disappointed, obviously, a chance at that welterweight championship and, and now goes to Carlson Harris in Brazil. So you know he's battling back and he has his eyes on the title as well. Oh, yeah, he's hungry for that title. And Frankie, I think you're right, man. That, that, that kick is really starting to affect the heart. Yeah, you're starting to see the dividends a little bit. Charging forward. There's only so many kicks you can take to the yeah. leg. Oof. He's, he's now he's starting to defend it a little bit, and he's starting to. Yeah, yeah, Fargoni's still throwing it. He's kicking his shin, still throwing it. Ooh. Oh, right over the top. Here comes the latest. Nice, oh, nice over, overhand with the right. I'd be doing a great job of defending There's the head, that though. jab, man. Stiff jab. Yeah. Ooh, right and hand. And a right oh, hand. Beautiful and combo, guys. Oh. oh. Had a, he had his leg through a wild uppercut, man. Got him off real quick. Nice jab by Fakhradin. Ooh, another, another one. Fakhradin is stalking, gentlemen. He's going after it. Big overhand right. Hot up against the he's fence. Coming. Wow, he's, coming. he's keeping the pressure on nice him. Nice uppercut. Trying to get distance. Bang. Violent. Ooh, Hotby getting out of harm's way. But for how long? Fakhradin. Man, he is swinging he every is swinging, single punch. You know, every time it's an outside punch, I like to see him come inside with that right hand. Might switch it up, switch the tempo up. A lot of wild <laughs> looping shots, but a lot of them are landing. A lot of significant yeah. shots from Mohamed Fakhrdin. He's putting more output in. You know, yeah. you put that output in, it's going to look good in the judge's eyes. He's uh, he's Great definitely. Round. That, that, that was a good round. It was five minutes of right hands <laughs> and left hooks and some kicks there. I mean. That, Every single one of those punches are with full force. Have some heat on them, for sure. Absolutely have some heat on them. Yeah, and I think we can all agree that those leg kicks are, are the difference maker in this fight. It, it's really starting to slow Hotby down. He's not getting that same lateral movement that he was getting early on in the see, round. And you see in the end of the round, Fakhrini was able to pour it on a little more with the hands, I think, due to those leg kicks. We talk about the body shots. We talk about the leg kicks and how they really do pay dividends. So you got the, the doctor was in there looking at uh, Fokker Dean's eye, I guess, checking it out. Yeah, they're going to look really, really closely at that. I don't think it's cut. I think it's just bruised up pretty badly. Yeah. Swollen some. Yeah, it's from those stiff jabs to hard. It's what he does best. I mean, great, accurate shots. From Tahar Hadby, who trains out of France, which interestingly enough, MMA is banned in that country. <laughs> but you still have a number of fighters that come out of France that are still doing the training and they're fighting in different countries. Right. Well, not bad for an accountant. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Constant pressure from, from Fakhrdin. Always, always pressure, always pressure. Let's see if Fakhr, ooh, I was just going to say, let's see if he goes back to those leg kicks right right away. You know he's going to, but the left eye of Fakhrdin is swelling up pretty big. He doesn't have a whole lot of sight coming out of that left eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, uh, he 
he's really showing to work with his leg kicks. It makes a huge difference. Hadby throwing the big front kick. Brings a smile to the face of Mohamed Fakhradine. Ooh, nice right hand, short right hand. Another wild right. I got to say, Fakhradine really holding his own in oh, the stand-up I think he's split open now. I think the eyes split open. Oh, it's absolutely oh, yeah. split open. No, oh, it's uh, over to, that's enough. That was a nice one, too, from uh, about Habidi. Yeah. Ooh. Tahar just <laughs> keeps delivering those one-two punches. Nice. Nice movement. He's coming in the second round with a little bit more strategy. He's able to, to, def to fend off the aggressiveness of Mohamed Fakhradine. Well, we saw in the Carl Booth fight with Tahar Hadby, he can take a lot of shots. This is a guy that can go the full three rounds, no problem. And he was ready to go all five rounds. So he has the stamina and has the gas tank, but those legs are hurting. Yeah, absolutely. I think Fakhradine right now needs to, needs to keep attacking that leg. Kind of switch it up like you said earlier, Frankie. Switch I think, the tempo. Uh, I think well, there he, he went right down the middle right there. Some of the damage uh, he's, he's getting, I think, is slowing him down some too, though. Now we got Fakhradine looking for a takedown. And he's very good at that, but Hadby with great defense. Oh, huge. Oh, oh that's one. seven. That is seven. Oh, no. Yeah. That's trouble. That is the second low blow, and that's probably going to be a point, guys. It should be, absolutely. That was intentional, it seemed like. Well, we'll have to see in the replay. I don't want to make yeah, too, like to see too many again. early assumptions, but it looked like that. Yeah, you guys are right. <laughs> What's that? I said, yeah, you guys are right. Let's see how. Let's see the replay. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Oh, Hotby's gonna rear back right about here. Oh, right to the. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't on purpose. The nah, I, don't think it was on I think purpose. he was going to the body. Yeah. That being said, damage is done, guys. Yeah, you would just say seven. Yeah, I think. Is that the seventh low that's blow the seventh that Macarena's take? Yeah, Jeez. that we've witnessed. So here's the question. If he's done. Uh, what round is this? Two, right? It's round Second, two, so. and it's early in round two as well, so. I'm not sure how that goes. It's, it's really, it's a fuzzy area. It's kind of a gray area, and sometimes they'll make it a no contest, and they do a DQ. There's a number of things that could happen. So look, look at the timer here. So we got about a minute left, guys. So we got a minute left to decide what Fakhradine's going to do. And Fakhradine's not even making an attempt to get to his feet right now. Yeah, I, know, I know we all hope that he does, but that being said, we don't know the type of pain that he's in right now, right? I mean, he's really rolling right now. I mean, usually guys kind of get sit down and, and, and just, you know. Usually comes back, comes back a little bit, but yeah. uh, you don't know how exactly, uh, you know, he caught it. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, and I know Frank Rodin, I know he's not faking that right there. <laughs> no, you got, you got to do like they do in kickboxing. You get your guy over there shaking it around. Yeah. Get your quarter guy. Do the little, uh, <laughs> little, little move. Little jump, little jump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was pretty solid. Pretty square. Yeah. Was that the little jumble jump? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is still in pain. Yeah. No, he's not getting up. I don't think he's going to continue to fight. Three minutes left. Oh wow! I thought it was referee. I'm sorry. I thought we was only had like a minute left. I yeah. guess not. Okay. Three minutes left. I think that's how much we had left in the round. It's one something in the round. Oh okay. Yeah. Okay. That gotcha. What saying. So he has. So he has time. But he's that hurting. Doesn't, doesn't look too good right now. I mean, what? Do you, he can't say anything, right? I mean, in a situation like that, you just don't know what what yeah. this guy's going yeah. through. You know, I mean, yeah. it's easy to say, hey, try to get to your feet, try right. to shake it off, but. It'll be very unfortunate if the fight doesn't go, continue. Uh, yeah, indeed, indeed. Nope, the referee, the doctor is waving Fights. it off. This fight is over. So, where do we go from here, guys? And now we gotta get the official determination on what this fight's gonna be. The fight is over. The commission needs to come up with uh, I'd say it's probably gonna be a DQ. 
could be. I think it's going to be a DQ because of how far along in the fight it is. You said there was only like a minute, like two minutes left or a minute yeah, left I think a minute in the round. 30, I, I heard. And if it's over that halfway part, the halfway point. Then, then you go to the scorecards. We're getting the determination right now. We'll, we'll update you guys as soon as we know. It's, it's kind of different everywhere you go on how they make that determination. Yeah, there was a minute 58 left in the, of the second round. You guys are watching Brave Combat Federation number nine. And of course, it was a nasty low blow from Tahar Hadbi. We believe it was unintentional. That being said, Mohamed Fakhardin cannot continue. Uh, unfortunate because these guys were really giving each other some trouble. That was an awesome fight. Yeah, that was a great fight. That was very entertaining. So if it goes to the scorecard, going to be interesting. Obviously, I guess probably Fakhardin if, if it goes to the scorecards. Especially if you take a, if there's a point taken, I don't know. I mean, it was one round for Fak. I had it, um, Fakhardin winning that first round. But this second round was all to hard. Yeah, for know? sure. So it's Tahar very important. was, was uh, the, you know, committing pretty good damage on, on Fakhardin. Oh, he's going out in the stretcher. Literally, we have Tahar Habi looking at us, directly in our face, saying, I'm sorry. You know, he's... I don't not, think believe it was happy. intentional. You know, yeah. it's you're you're in a fight. <laughs> you're, you're yeah. gunslinging. You especially know, stuff after, happens. Especially after all that, you know, all that talk, all the build up. That's not how you want to see it go down. And no, it's not very at all. disappointing for both men. Obviously, I just hope uh, Fokker Dean's okay going out here in a stretcher. Right? There's no telling. We'll get an official determination. Mark Goddard is talking to Carlos Kramer, which means we're going to get the official determination. Goddard is our head official, so he's going to make that call, and he knows exactly where this is going to go. He's talking to uh, Carlos Kramer, the announcer. See Sheikh Khalid and Mohammed Shahid watching on. Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the founder of Brave Combat Federation, and then the CEO, Mohammed Shahid, the guy that has just worked tirelessly to make this a successful company. And now we eagerly await the decision and how Mark Goddard's going to take a look at this fight. I think he's probably going to be a DQ, but I'm not exactly sure. Out, oh, Fakhardin carried off on a stretcher. Sad, sad state of events. Yeah, it's very unfortunate. Very Ladies unfortunate. and gentlemen, referee Mark Goddard has called this fight a no contest due to an accidental blow that was not intentional. There you have it. There you go. So it's a no contest. All right, interesting. I think it kind of makes sense because it was unintentional. You know. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's again okay, that's a no contest for the fight. Accidental low blow, ladies and gentlemen. You know, it's, it's a little anticlimactic. Of course, we were so excited.